Okay, there's a real importance of why I'm making this video. I've been in books, I've been in magazines, I've had the machines, I have the machines today. You know what original numbers are because of the original machines that you've had. Unfortunately, there's been several books in publication, not to name names, that as much service as they've done to the industry, have also done disservice by saying this is the way, and people think that's the only way. Here's the reality. I've shown on the YouTube two Harley-Davidson video uh, invoices to the dealer, the same dealer with the same numbers three months apart. I only have 352 Harley-Davidson invoices out of tens of thousands of Harleys made. How many times did that happen? We don't know because people don't read their invoices. Most of them got thrown in the trash when all this stuff was barely valuable and the dealers got bought out. And what's this paper stuff? And they threw it out. So, and Har Harley Davidson don't have the invoices anymore. It was stolen out of the back room. So nobody knows. But when you find an original paint machine with history, you learn stuff. And one of the things you learn is what real numbers are, what real belly numbers are, what really happened. It's not in a book. It's in the real machine. And this is why I bother to put my numbers out there for everybody to see because there's so many people who are doing bad number jobs going, this is the real. And by the way, your real bike must have a number job so they can sell their fucked up shit and their reproduction parts. And once again, I'm fighting the tide of ignorance and thieves. When you sit there and tell somebody this is a real part and you fuck them, as a real part, and you laugh with your little buddies how you bought some air cleaner and you sold it to them for $3,000 when you bought it from the manufacturer for $150, going, oh, it's real because I made it aged. Again, not to name names. That's thievery. You're fucking somebody and you're laughing at them, thinking you're cool. That's wrong. Now, here's the reality. Half of Harley Davidson's that were ever built no longer exist. They were just junk bikes thrown in a junkyard, sold for scrap. Especially pre-war stuff, man. Then everything to the scrapyard. Be, be the patriot. Most of that stuff doesn't exist anymore. So here's the other reality. If it ain't on record, you can make up a set of numbers and go get a title. Boom. So showing my numbers, in my opinion, doesn't put me at risk. It shows somebody, hey, this is a real number. Don't use it. Don't use it. This is a real number with a real title. Don't use that number. So it actually makes me safe, in my opinion. And showing everybody else what real numbers are and the variations over the years. So that way, all these wannabe know-it-alls don't wipe out the real set of numbers to put something else in it, which I've seen happen, because that's what everybody thinks it should be. There's that doo-doo in the background. He heard something. This is a real original paint box. A very, very nice one. And this here is a real original paint bike. A very nice one. I can't tell, I can't tell this far away from the machine that it's an original paint. I have to get right here and touch it and run my meter over it and really look at it. Then I can tell that's how nice this bike is. And the same with that. I, I had to fly in to the auction when they were having it. I couldn't tell. I have to get right here up on top of it and really look at it this close to be able to tell it's an original paint. That's what a high-end bike is. They're out there. There are bikes nicer than my stuff. Way nicer than my stuff. Like brand new because it was never used. It is brand new. The Harley Museum has a couple. They look restored, but they're original and they've never been touched. And they don't even realize the importance of that at all. It goes right over their head. But they're out there. There are brand new crate knuckles. There are brand new crate panheads. There are brand new crate Hendersons that still exist. And they're still in brand new condition. But if you don't fight the rising tide of ignorance, it prevails. It's like the Bible. Somebody wrote it. Everybody believes it. Well, which Bible? Is it a Mormon Bible? Is it a Christian Bible? Is it the uh, whatever Bible? Is it the Book of Islam? Everybody believes their Bible's correct. Well, somebody wrote it. Anybody, any fool can write a book. The real book 
is what Harley Davidson wrote when they met the machine. This is the machine. This is the machine. That's the real book. That is it. So I will take my risk to try and help everybody else once again and show my real bikes and show my real numbers to help the poor sap down the street from getting fucked. I get people emailing me all the time, man, is this right? Is that right? And sure enough, it's a number job. All the time. It's happened twice this week. Alone. We'll see you guys in the next video. Well, you should have sound upset. Ooh.